As a ship with containers stacked seven high on its decks approaches the locks of the Panama Canal, it looks like a floating skyscraper. And that's the problem. When the locks were built nearly 100 years ago, they were an engineering marvel, and they nearly didn't happen. The French gave up trying to carve a canal out of the jungle in the 19th century. More than 20,000 lives were lost in the process. But it was U.S. engineering that finally conquered the canal. Ships from around the world have been using this east-west shortcut since 1914, but in the intervening decades, the world's cargo fleet has become wider and longer and heavier. The biggest ships, the so-called post-Panamax vessels, no longer fit through the locks. That's why a $5.25 billion expansion is underway to build new locks in Panama that can handle the world's biggest ships. Nearly 13,000 workers toil round the clock to build the new locks on both the Atlantic and Pacific sides of the canal. They're pouring cement, dredging channels, and excavating a new four-mile-long access channel. When the new locks are finished, the target date for completion is the second quarter of 2015. They'll be able to handle ships that are as long as three football fields and 160 feet wide. The United States turned over control of the canal to Panama in 1999, but it is still the canal's biggest customer. <laughs>